Chino could be a chaotic commute heading into Pittsburgh tomorrow from the eastern suburbs. It's going to be the first morning rush since Route 30 collapsed in East Pittsburgh, and that's where we find our Lynn, Free Lynn Hayes Freeland tonight. She begins our team coverage. Lynn. Paul, we're actually right down on Electric Avenue, which is underneath where that road collapsed on Route 30. And this is something you don't see very often. Crews hard at work at 11 o'clock on a Sunday night. And the fact that they're here is an indication of just how urgent this overall situation is. Crews here in East Pittsburgh have been working round the clock, and Sunday night was no exception. The uncertainty of what comes next continues for the more than 30 people displaced here on Electric Avenue after last week's landslide on Route 30. Now I have nothing. Probably a week worth of clothes. That's it. For some who live here, their homes have already been torn down. The county's working with others to see if they can get back inside safely to pick up very special mementos. We've arranged for a time frame tomorrow where we will assist those that have been displaced to be able to return and potentially retrieve uh, uh, some of uh, the important necessities that they need, medications, uh, telephones, maybe books with important numbers. But no long-term answers. PennDOT says it will be a while before the road can be repaired. We are definitely talking months, not weeks, uh, for how long it's going to take us uh, to get this uh, to get this fixed. And what caused it? Most of the landslides around here are precipitated by the weather. And how are they going to fix it? We don't have a definitive plan. Uh, we have an idea, but until we remove what's what's still there, they almost got it all down and do a couple more uh, holes. Uh, they have to drill some core borings pretty deep down to see where the rock and everything is. Until then, the detours will continue. The backups will pile up. Drivers will search for alternate routes, and at least one other home is going to have to come down. While we were uh, doing the demolition of the apartment building last night, the uh, cracks started to form at the bottom. Uh, the wall that was holding up the deck started to move, and um, we, we do believe that this is going to have to be demolished also. Now, two other footnotes to this story. If you have been displaced, there is a hotline set up. It answers 24 hours a day. For whatever needs you might have, you can go to our website at kdka.com and get information on that hotline number. And if Route 30 is part of your commute, as you mentioned, Paul, this is the first morning. It will be closed completely, so you may want to allow plenty of time because traffic is shortly going to be backed up. Reporting live tonight, I'm Lynn Hayes-Freeland, KDKA TV News. I can't get over this one, Lynn. Thank Thank you for your report tonight.